Section 10.4 is about common logarithms. A common logarithm is a logarithm with base 10, and it's commonly written without the subscript. So instead of writing like log base 3 of something, we just write log of something. Um, the example down here would be log 3. What that really means is log base 10 of 3. That's what that means. Now your calculator does this by default. There's a log button on your calculator, and you can find these values by just typing them in. For example, if you put log 3 into your calculator, you're going to get 0.4771. Now it goes further, but that's an approximate answer. Um, and that is the common log of the number 3. Same thing here, log 0.2. If you put that into your calculator, that's log base 10. That's negative 0 0.6990. So log base 10 is a common log, and it can be put into your calculator. So here would be an example of a problem where we could use common logs to solve. 3 to what power equals 11? I don't know. It's going to be some uh, decimal power or something like that. But how can we solve this? Well, we can take the common log of both sides. So if I have this, I'm going to take the log of the left and the log of the right. So I'm going to rewrite it just so it's written properly. Log of 3 to the x equals log of 11. And these are both common logs, because there is no base, so we assume base 10. According to the power property, I can take that x, move it in front of the log of 3, and multiply it. And now if I want to isolate the x, I'm just going to divide both sides by the log of 3, because that's nothing more than a number. So x is going to equal log 11 over log 3. So you just plug those into a calculator, you get a decimal approximations, and then you go ahead and divide that in your calculator, and you get 2.1828 is approximately what x equals. Now one thing you can do to check this answer is, is just think about it logically. Well, 3 to the second power is 9, and 3 to the third power is 27. And since 11 is somewhere between 9 and 27, then that means this has to be 3 to the 2 point something. So you can at least get an approximation of, of where it needs to be. So 2.1828 uh, seems reasonable. Here's another example. I'm going to have to use logs to solve this inequality. So I'm going to begin by taking the log of both sides. Now the power property allows me to bring the, the exponents down and sort of dissect both sides here. So bring down the y minus 1. So now I, I have y's that are on both sides, and I have to somehow get all the y's together so that I can isolate them. Well, since I'm now multiplying y minus 1 times log 8, I'm going to distribute that and make it y times log 8 minus 1 times log 8. So it's just distributing log 8 because log 8 is nothing more than a number. Now I'd like for these two y terms to be by themselves, so I'm going to subtract y log 8. I'm going to subtract that from both sides. And then I'm going to rewrite this as 3y log 5 minus y log 8. And then over here they canceled, leaving me a negative log 8. Now because these act like they were terms in a polynomial expression, I'm going to take the y from here and pull it out leaving me 3 times log 5. And then I'm going to take the y from here, pull that out, leaving me a minus log 8. And that's still less than the negative log of 8. So I'm factoring out the y from both of these. And now I can divide both sides by this expression, which is nothing more than, than decimal numbers. And so those will cancel, isolating the y for me. So now I just use my calculator and I plug in log 8, 3 times log of 5, and log of 8. I get decimal numbers. And then again, plug that whole thing into my calculator, and I find out that y is less than negative 0 0.7564. And so you notice that by using the different properties, what I'm really doing is trying to, to break apart all the pieces so I can get the variable by itself. Uh, and then these logs, these common logs, are nothing more than decimal numbers that at the very end I just plug them in and I can approximate my solution. One more property that's uh, helpful for us when we're dealing with logs is called the change of base formula. If you have a log with a base, 
um, you can rewrite that log with a different base uh, multiplied by the n and then down here you divide it by the log base b multiplied by the original base now the good part of that is base b can be a 10 so you can convert any kind of logarithmic expression into one with common logs and you see an example of that here log base 5 of 12 is really log base 10 of 12 divided by log base 10 of 5 so we're going to use that idea down here to figure out what log base 4 of 25 is so using the change of base formula I'm going to take the common log of 25 and divide that by the common log of 4 now I didn't write the tens down here because we assume that if we don't write the base it's, it's log base 10 and now I'm going to plug those into my calculator and when I divide those out I get 2.3219 which is an approximate value that I found by using the change of base formula to convert these to log or to convert these to common logs.